I'm gonna show you how I make a Teachers Pay Teachers product from scratch, starting with a blank eight and a half by 11 canvas, how I create it, flatten it, download it, and upload it to Teachers Pay Teachers. I'm starting off with the free version of Canva, and I would not use your teacher email for anything you're gonna do commercially, and the Canva for Educator version is not for commercial use. So I know teachers get a Canva Pro version for free. Do not use that for sales. I'm coming up to click Create Design. I'm gonna create a custom size. I'm going to type in eight and a half by 11 inches and click create new design. So here's my blank canvas. It's one page eight and a half by 11 because most teachers print on paper. Now over here, I'm gonna just start with elements and I'm gonna click a simple line, just a straight line. It'll pop up here. I'm gonna drag it to the sides so that it goes all the way across. And then I'm gonna make a bunch more lines by clicking duplicate. Let's do like 10 more. Can you tell what I'm gonna make? So I'm gonna take the bottom line and put it down where I want it to end. I'm gonna select all the lines, then come up to position and click tidy up. Watch this. Ooh. This makes them all evenly spaced and I can decide where they go. And those are actually a little too tight for what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna move the spacing up and I'm gonna re-tidy up so that they can have more space in between. Tidy up, that's better. So now I have the bottom of my writing paper. At the top, I'm gonna to put some free elements in there that the students can color in and maybe a name box. So I'm gonna make this a back to school writing activity. So I typed in pencil outline graphics and I'm just gonna use a free one. So I'm gonna click this one. So I added a few free elements to make it look like a back to school paper. And I noticed these lines feel a little thick to me. So, so if I highlight them all and come up to this line box, I can come and change the line weight from four to two. And when I do that, let's see the difference. That looks a little more matchy with the element lines and we can zoom in and see. I like that. And so I might leave this page like it is and then duplicate it and add one with a name box on it. But let's just say I wanna make a freebie. Let's make this a freebie. So it's one page with back to school elements on it and lines. So I'm gonna now click share, download. I'm picking PDF print and I'm going to flatten it and download. Usually I'd have more pages, but this is just for a quick demo and I'm going to make it a freebie. And then from your store, click my product listings, add new product, a digital download. I'm gonna click select file, pick my free writing paper. I made it a freebie. It took about 10 minutes to make an upload and there it is.